No one was better at telling the right kind of boletus from the poisonous kind. No one else knew that a certain kind of toxic mushroom was edible after exactly 3 minutes 34 seconds of boiling. This knowledge gave Anna's children a sense of a secret power, not visible to neighbors who only saw pale, dirty, skinny kids wearing hideous rabbit hides carrying a bunch of useless twigs out of the forest. she graduated, she looked around at what her options were. There were not many opportunities in Latvia in the 1920s for a woman with a good basic education who wanted more. She had to take a job as a secretary. She was 20, very pretty and intelligent. In no time she found a position with an entrepreneur. Is this all you have? Hold on. One minute, please. Take your ticket, please. Go upstairs and receive your fire extinguisher. Afternoon. How can I help you? There's a fire in my house. I can help you. Fire in my house and house. I must... Listen, I am Stepan Stepanovich. Houses are for Kondrat Kondrat. Understand? Okay. Goodbye. With all his failings, Indolis still had an idea-generating brain. Turpentine would become his new savior of his business and private life. He went back to the city to his previous investors and made a new proposal. are told from a comfortable armchair by a warm fireplace. But this story is quite different. In the crazy world of war, divorce, politics, sex, business, education, money, secrets, marriage, Power, motherhood, violence. In this crazy world, 
How do you stay sane? This is a story about five women of my family and our quest for sanity. My grandmother Anna, a lively spirit, then a mother of eight. And my cousins, Miranda, an aspiring artist. Linda, an ambitious student. Irbe, a quiet music teacher. And me, I look at my family and ask, can I escape my destiny? The road to sanity is a wild ride. Rocks in my pockets, a funny film about depression.